Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This day, June 12th, 2020. Let me know if you can hear me okay. If you want to say hello, unmute your microphone. Yes, I can hear you. Great. Uh, hello, Claudia. Hello, everyone else. I can't see the list here in front of me. I've, I'm sharing my screen, guys. I want to jump in to today's activity. I want to continue with yesterday's activity that we actually started Wednesday of this week, thinking about progress. And yesterday, we started working on a matrix for uh, developing some ideas around progress. The intention of the matrix, the reason for doing this matrix is so that you guys know not only what you're doing and what you're focusing on for your topic as it relates to progress, but also to compare what you have with what, uh, what uh, your classmates are planning on uh, discussing. And so the idea here is to try to provide a con uh, a topic and a context that's different enough that you're not talking about the same thing from your classmates. Okay, so it's very important that if you see a, if your topic is happiness and someone else is writing a topic about happiness, that you're looking also at the context, comparing yours with theirs. And if it's necessary, you might want to contact, if they're in the same prope group, you can take advantage of these online sessions and discuss it or if you want to discuss it privately, but make sure that you're talking with the other classmates that have a topic very similar to yours so that you both are aware of what kind of resources you're using, what kind of websites, what kind of context you're using so that's different enough so that you're not talking about the same thing. At the end of all this, we're going to bring all together, all of our topics into one central space, much like what we did with the last topic. So there are going to be a lot of similarities and a few differences between this test versus the last test that we did. Um, but we want to make sure that we have a lot of different uh, topics covered in this task. Now, another reason for doing this matrix. If we look at the context and the measurements column here, okay, one of the instructions here was to include a, a a complete sentence. All right, so make sure that you have, I would say, anywhere from one to three sentences for your context. One to three sentences, I think, is, is enough for your measurements. Now, along the right-hand side to the right of the propic column, you'll notice we have columns called source one, source two, source three, source four. So for this exercise, you're going to need at least one source. Now, a source can be a video, it can be a website, a news article, a journal. It could even be a blog post if it's reliable. But you need to have at least one reference or one source to get information that you need to talk and develop your topic. Again, we're going to develop a paragraph. We don't need a lot of information, but we need some source that is going to provide the basis for our discussion about our topic. So here, what I'm asking everyone to do is to create hypertext. Now, I'm using the word progress, but you can use any word that you want. All right, the main thing is to keep it short and that you create a link. Remember that you can create a link by simply typing any word into the cell and going into insert link and copying and pasting the URL. All right, and again, I would copy and paste the entire URL just to make sure that you get an HTTPS URL instead of an HTTP as it shows here. Okay, this is by default, so we want to replace this. I would eliminate that and uh, just copy and paste the URL from your browser. Right, that's all you need to do to create a hyperlink. Now, the 
the information you have here in the measurements, you're going to need your source to get this information. You're going to need to have found an article, a video, or some sort of website with information that talks about how it measures or how it measured progress. All right, so um, here's an example of how peace was measured. The first index is a global peace index. All right, this is what this is an example of showing how something is being measured. And encourage includes 162 countries. Okay, so this is a very good example, right, of how this this topic, right, about peace, it was measured by the Global Peace Index. All right, and again, they mentioned 162 countries. In general, these indices coincide with the factors. Okay, so this that's basically it. Right, this is the idea. They're going to mention either instruments, right? In this case, a global peace index is, a, is an instrument. They might talk about how they did it. So you might think of it as a procedure. How did they obtain the information? How did they collect the information? They're going to mention that in, in the website someplace. I mean, they should, right? The, the point here is how do you measure, for example, happiness? If your topic is happiness, how do they measure it? How did they measure it in the study that, that you're talking about? They're probably going to mention that. If they don't mention it, then we need to find another source that does mention how do they measure happiness? Because if you're going to talk about happiness and how it's changed over the last 10, 20, 30 years, then they're going to for sure mention how did how do you measure it? Right, that's going to be part of the discussion, right? And they may get into detail, they may not. And you go, you just get whatever information that you can get from the source. But my point here is we can't fill out this column under measurements if we don't have our links, if we don't have sources. Okay, this is not just something that we're going to guess about or just suppose or just you know, think that this might be a way to measure. No, we need to have the source and the source will tell us how, how something, how your topic is being measured. Okay, so also finally, I'll make sure that you're writing in a complete, as a complete sentence. Okay, make sure that you have a subject, make sure that you have a predicate, okay, to complete your sentence. All right, so I went through this morning and took a, just a quick look as you're finalizing your matrix. Okay, again, make sure that you've completed all of the columns. Make sure that you have at least one source. I think no more than four is plenty, but you need to have at least one. Go ahead and complete that. Make sure that you've indicated prop A. -A and once you've completed the matrix, all right, that's going to be the first thing. Once you've completed the matrix, then we're going to go to the virtual classroom under week 15 slash 16 slash 17. And we're going to go down to our progress wiki. Now, if you notice in the instructions, I'm asking for you to include the following in your wiki. And this is only after you've completed the matrix. You need to complete the matrix first and then go into the wiki. So for right now, this is what I'm asking for for the wiki. And this is going to change as, as we get into this, pro this, uh, this task next week. These, these instructions will change as we progress. But for now, I'm asking everyone to include the following, and all of this information needs to come from the matrix first. It's very important not to jump to the wiki without changing the matrix. The matrix needs to be completed first. All right, so once you've completed the matrix, then bring over your topic, your context, your measurements, and write out your references now according to APA. All right, so... 
the first three, the topic, the context, and the measurements are simply going to be copy and pasted from the matrix to the wiki. Copy and paste these first three items from the matrix and bring it over here to the wiki. The references, the references need to be now listed out according to APA. Remember that the references is what appears at the end of the document underneath the heading references. So it's going to include probably the author's last name if there's a uh, an author, then the first initial, maybe the year in parentheses, depending on what kind of reference it is. It might be the title of the web page or the article. It might include the the news organization afterwards, maybe the link. Okay, all of that information according to APA. This is what you need to include in this order in your wiki. But again, don't begin the wiki until you've completed the matrix. The last thing I'll say here, since this is a live session, we've got uh, time here if you need to discuss any of your topics with any of your classmates in Prope A. If they're online, feel free to unmute your microphone, discuss your topic, work it out. Again, to clarify, to make sure that you're talking about different topics about progress. If for any reason your topic is very similar to someone in Prope B, then maybe you reach out to them versus in uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, either through chat or Facebook, however you want to contact the other person, but to, to discuss it. It's very important from the beginning that you guys are okay with your topic, you understand what you want to write about, but it's also different from anyone else's um, topic that they're writing about, okay? There are many different topics to write about, but we could also end up writing about the same thing if we're not careful. So this matrix, again, is, to de is designed to share openly and transparently all of the topics that we're working on, right, so that you guys are comparing and looking at your topic versus everybody else's. All right, so are there any questions about today's task? Okay, if there are no more comments at this time, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I'm going to continue working or looking through the matrix. I may be leaving comments, right? So if I leave any comments in your any of your uh, in, with any of your work, make sure you check the comments section. And uh, again, if you have questions about what we're doing today, jump in, unmute your mic, and of course, feel free to talk amongst yourselves if you need to discuss your topics. If you see the abbreviation FRAG, F-R-A-G, this is this means a sentence fragment. Okay, make sure that every sentence has a subject and a verb. If a sentence is missing a subject or missing a verb, then it's a sentence fragment. It's an incomplete uh, sentence. So make sure that you're writing complete sentences both in the context column and also the measurements column. Uh, Barb, do you have a microphone?
Barb, uh, if you could let me know if you have a microphone or maybe in the chat. You let me know. Are you there, Barb? Are you there, Barb? All right, so I don't know if you can hear me, Barb. Maybe you can go back to this recording if you need to. About your topic, I would choose one of the topics that relate to some topic that comes from the information that I'm sharing in the virtual classroom. Uh, for example, you might choose something related to life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, happiness. You might even open up this document under readings and focus on one of the topics listed in this document. This is uh, from Wikipedia. And they also have other areas of, of uh, progress. They even have different uh, indices that relate to different areas of progress. So this is what I would like for you to focus on, one of these topics that relate more to, towards progress, but something that's measurable. And again, looking at all of these examples that I'm sharing with you here in this document, in this one document, in the one video, right? They, uh, they all talk about specific aspects of progress over the last, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 years but that it's measurable, that it's something that uh, researchers can measure and analyze to say, okay, this is better now than we were before. All right, so I would use this as a guide, this document, and also the video, uh, and choose a topic that relates more towards one of these topics. Now, you can go into the specifics, right, of of uh, one of these areas, okay? But I would focus more on on one of these topics here listed here in the, uh, for, in the virtual classroom. If you have any questions, Barb, let me know if you get this later. I'm not sure if you can hear this now, but feel free to reach out to me outside of class if you have questions or you wanna discuss this more. Of course, if you're able to either send me a message now, we can look at it or if, better yet, Unmute your microphone and we can discuss it. I'll show you here very quickly again where you can find this information. I realized that I wasn't sharing my screen. This is where you can find the topics on progress from this uh, presentation, this TED Talk. Again, life, health, sustenance, prosperity, peace, freedom, safety, knowledge, leisure, and happiness. These are some topics as well as this document called Progress that's found in the virtual classroom. This is a Wikipedia site uh, on progress, and they talk a lot about different areas of progress that you can focus on. So try to use this as a guide. Uh, Danielle, do you have a microphone today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, just to clarify here, I'm looking at your topic, and uh, maybe you're still working on this, but I just want to make sure that there are no questions. Uh, take a look at your measurements first. Um, what kind of verb could you use in this example here? Uh, 
Okay, think about uh, think about the verb that you can use. Notice that you don't have a verb in this statement. Okay, you've got immigration and gener and generational differences in family ecologies. But try to write out your idea as a complete sentence with a verb and think about some sort of specific index or instrument or procedure. How how do they measure, in this case, social cultural evolution? Right? If they're if this article, and we can open it up here, but if they're going to talk about progress, okay, they're going to have to mention something about a change. How was it before? How is it now? And how do they measure that change? Now, maybe it's in this article. Maybe it's maybe you need to look somewhere else. But there should be a, some sort of measurement that they use. In this case, social uh, social cultural evolution that that you can talk about, right? That you can uh, discuss. And you might have to be more specific in your topic. Remember that we need six to twelve words in your topic. Um, but think about how uh, they're going to measure this and include that here in this column under measurements. Now, in your context, the context is what you're going to you're going to talk about. You're, you're talking about where the United States and Mexico. All right. But maybe you can talk about, you know, what exactly are you referring to when you talk about social cultural evolution? What are some of the specifics? So think about some of the question words, how, what, when, why, where, that you can talk about in the context column and try to include declarative sentences. Here you have analyzed several, uh, you could, I guess, argue that that's an imperative, right? An, an imperative sentence, like a command. But I would rather you write it as a declarative sentence. You have a subject, an explicit subject, and you have a predicate. You have a verb phrase. You have an object. Okay, but try to be a little bit more specific in the context to reveal in greater detail this idea of social cultural evolution. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, if you have questions, uh, Danielle, let me know, all right? Yes, thank you. Paulina, do you have a mic uh, this morning? Like, yeah, yeah, I just noticed that. Okay, thanks. Make sure, guys, that you're focusing, and I think most of you are, but just as a reminder, make sure that you are focusing on the positive aspects of progress, okay? So with all of these topics that you're mentioning, we can say that there are still some problems, there's issues, there's things that we need to work out, and things are not great, we can always do better. But the focus of this activity, this task, this week and next week, is to focus on the positive aspects of progress. Change from the past to the present, but change for the better, things that have improved. So we're not going to dive into the uh, the challenges or the problems, we're focusing only on the good information, the good change that we've seen over the past, you know, so, so many years. Okay, so make sure that you focus on positive progress uh, for the purposes of this uh, activity.
Uh, Jamilka, do you have a mic uh, this morning? Yes. All right. So thinking about your context, I want you to think about the question words. Which are the question words that you can share in this in this uh, space about African Americans uh, fighting for freedom? Right. Voices on the on the rise, I guess you have raised, but maybe the rise. I'm not sure. Um, but think about the positive aspects and the specific context that you're looking at. OK, so you do have African-Americans and you mentioned social movements. OK, maybe you're talking about a specific time period, you know, over the last how many years. Right. You could you could talk about you could include that. But focus on don't focus on the the problems. Try to focus more on the positive aspects. Right. And if you can speak a little bit about why. Maybe right. This the, why is this important? Maybe how this happens generally. Right. Just one sentence that you talk about how this change occurred over the last, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 4, 50, 100 years, whatever time frame that relates to the articles that you found. Um, I would try to focus that uh, in this section, OK? Um, I, I think what you have here in the measurements is good. Um, take a look at your second sentence, though, presents the states Make sure that the second sentence is also a complete sentence. Make sure that you have a subject first and then a verb. I think you do have a complete sentence in the first sentence, but I would take another look at your second uh, sentence. All right. Do you have any questions, uh, Jamilka? No. OK. If anybody has questions about uh, the frag, what a sentence fragment is, right? again, make sure that you are not using any imperative sentences, that you're using declarative sentences, subject and a predicate, subject and a verb. Again, guys, when you're looking at the context, the context takes your topic, your title, and answers a few questions. Questions that begin with how, why, when, where, with whom, maybe when. You don't have to answer all of those questions, but you should answer some of those questions, okay, in the form of a declarative sentence, a subject, and a verb. All right, so for example, um, Javier, in your case, you're talking about health of overweight, obes obesity. Now, I guess my first question, Javier, and if you have a microphone, feel free to jump in, all right? And uh, let so I think, I could be wrong, but I think over the past, Society has gotten larger. Are, are you saying that you found studies that uh, the health overweight and obesity has improved? Is that what you're focusing on? Do you have a mic, uh, Javier? Or if you want to post in the chat, I'll also be looking at the chat, okay, if you're not able to ac activate your microphone. Or Javier, he's probably in his, let me see here. Uh, 
Okay. Um, Javier, are you able to hear me? Okay, I'm looking here. You don't have a mic. That's fine. So if you can respond to my question, Javier, are you saying that obesity has improved over the since from the past to the present? Or has it gotten worse? If you want to post your response, Javier, in the chat. Yeah, so so remember, guys, uh, Javier, we want to focus on progress, but for the better. All right, we want to look at something that was worse in the past, and today it's less of a problem. It's better. All right, so choose a topic that has improved okay now even though there are probably still problems still issues it's not perfect but if we compare it to how it used to be in the past the past 10 20 30 50 100 years whatever it is right we can say we're certainly better off now and when you find articles they need to be about something that's better progress when we talk about progress, we use the word progress. We're basically saying something that's changed over time, but for the better. All right. Something that's changed over time for the worse is not progress. That's the opposite of progress. Progress is something, a change that is a benefit, that is a betterment of for the for society, for, for people, for individuals, for whomever. Right, but it's it's a positive thing, right? So we want to focus on the positive here, thinking about progress in terms of a change for the better. Okay, does that make sense? Javier? So I, I would take another look at your topic and also look at your context. Think about the question words. Think about answering some of the question words that begin with how and why and when and where, and so on. Try to be a little bit more specific, and notice how you're using a, an imperative sentence. Try to use a declarative sentence, right? If you say, be more aware, I could say, tell someone, hey, you should, you know, be more aware of this, right? That's fine. It's a complete sentence, but it's an imperative. You're, you're giving a command. What I would prefer instead of a command is a declarative sentence where you have a subject first and then a predicate. A subject, and then a verb phrase, then maybe an object. Okay, so take a look at that as well once you've changed your topic. Again, take a look, guys. For everyone, I think the best place to start is either from this video, and if you haven't watched this video, you really need to because you're going to get a lot of ideas about what to do for this task. Right? He talks about many of all of these topics over the last 30 years, how there has been progress in all of these aspects. So take this information as a, as a starting point to find other websites or other videos to, to talk about the same thing. If you want to get additional ideas, go to Wikipedia. This PDF is a, basically a Wikipedia document. And they also talk about progress and different ways of looking at progress that you might get some ideas about. Right for starting off and looking for other websites to cover your particular area of interest. Okay, so guys, we're getting close to completing today's activity. Today's activity is to complete our matrix and to begin our wiki. Again, the wiki can be found in the virtual classroom under week 16 and 17. If we open up our personal wiki, you'll see here we have uh, we have some instructions. All right, I would like for you to bring over your topic, context, and measurements once you've completed it. So please complete the progress matrix first and then copy and paste it and bring it over to the wiki and then include your references and write it out according to APA. This is practice. 
writing out a reference according to the publication manual from APA. All right, any questions, guys, about today's activity? Ben, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Um, I want to change poor communities to society, but I don't know if the topic is very general in the context, like how society through the years find happiness thanks to the subjective well-being. Okay. Um, sorry, who's uh, speaking? I don't see see it registered here on the screen. I don't recognize who's speaking. Is this Claudia? No, it's Marcela. Marcela, okay. Um, okay, have you updated your matrix yet, Marcela, or not? No. Okay. Tell me again your topic, the title. Oh, yes. Uh, the question is, I want to, well, uh, the topic is happiness in the poor countries, but I want to change poor country, poor communities or poor countries to socia society, but I don't know if the topic is very general in okay. the context. And what do you have in for your context? Do you have anything there? Have you written out anything for the context? I don't understand you. I, I can hear you very well. Uh, okay. All right. So um, if do you have have you written out anything for your context besides what's in the matrix? Oh, no. Okay. Um, all right. Can you see my screen, Marcella? Yes, I can see. Okay. Are these the sources you want to use, or are you? Do you want to change and use something else? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, the video. I think it is very well, but uh, the another uh, source. I think it is wrong because. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I, are you still wanting to talk about happiness, though? Happiness in poor societies, or? I, 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 can, I can hear you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, maybe you can take a look at this recording, Marcella, or maybe we can chat after class. I would try to focus on something that's that's changed for the better now you know some articles say that happiness hasn't changed that much for poor communities but if you find information about that then great i i just glancing at your sources uh i don't know if this video maybe it does talks about happiness within poor communities. For me, poor communities and poor society is basically the same thing. I, I don't see a, a big difference there. Um, but it, it's just going to depend on the videos and the websites that you find and how they talk about how poor communities or poor society or poor individuals, poor groups of people are happier now than they were a long time ago, right? So it just depends on what you can find from your from your uh, your research when you when you read about it and you're watching these videos. Okay, does that does that help at all, Marcella? Oh, uh, I don't hear you well, but uh, okay. the question is that. Uh, for example, in the context, 
how society uh, through the years find happiness thanks to the subjective based on the subjective well-being and okay um i again the idea with the context marcella is to focus on the question words try to answer questions that begin with what how why when where how long and try to be more specific about in your case poor communities happiness well-being and and that's the idea with the context is to try to answer some of those questions you don't have to answer all of those questions but try to answer some of those in the context section as complete sentences okay so if you're having i know you're having a hard time hearing this so I think the recording, uh, I'm going to upload the recording here in just uh, a few minutes. So I would go to the recording and just forward to the very end of today's class so that you can hear my explanation. And then if you still have questions, then send me a, a chat in Microsoft Teams and I'll try to clarify more if you have additional questions about your topic. All right. Anybody else have any questions about the task? All right, so I guess we'll stop there, guys, uh, for today. Try to finish the matrix and move over some of the information to the wiki, as we talked about. And uh, we'll stop there for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see everybody on Monday. Take care. See you. Thank you.